Well, one thing is clear. Israel must be guaranteed full safety of its citizens. Nobody in Israel will, go, will agree to go back to the uh, three seventh of October situation. We cannot be threatened. And you know what? Part of the issue is that we are also attacked from our north by Hezbollah, which is a huge terror organization that has taken over Lebanon under the arms of Iran. And the real uh, empire of evil here starts in Tehran and spreads Islamic fundamentalism of the worst kind to the entire region. They have taken over Syria and Lebanon and Gaza and now from Yemen we are attacked and Iraq and everybody should be very aware that there is an Iranian evil effort to undermine the entire regional situation. Let me remind your viewers about a month and a half ago or so, two months ago in the G20 summit where Prime Minister Modi was there, President Joe Biden of the United States announced a special corridor of, of, of energy and communications and business and science from Israel all the way down to India through Saudi Arabia and the Gulf and Jordan, an amazing, amazing vision that connects all of us together, that will connect Europe to Southeast Asia and even America all the way to Australia. That's a grand vision. That gives India a huge strength on the way. But somebody decided that they want to derail this effort of inclusion of Israel and this huge peace vision of President Biden. Imagine and think who, at the end, this empire of evil of Iran is working extra hours to undermine any inclusion of Israel in the region and any peace process. And we all, all nations in the world, must fight Iran uh, for pursuing this evil uh, approach.